to run into trouble, Ursula warned. I went past Angel once and found some water. You know, I took a plunge. Twilight smiled. I know what trouble is like when someone is bored. With good life, they do criminal work. I mean, persons sometimes do good knots and things when we think days work, said Spike, and you would try to find out why we do it. You told her of me to talk about the good knots and things when you were finding me a gift of chunks of, of a new chunks book of ten cents and sunshines. Um, I mean, you were finding a gift of new chunks of ten cents and sunshines, said Twilight. I've been doing the parts of things for years. <laughs> said Pinky Pyro just popped up, and I gave our maker some hot chocolate. He showed me a farm and introduced me to a black farm cat, said Applejack. Who was he? His name is Astro and I don't think Rabbit would like to meet him. She likes her white cat, said Percy. Indeed I do not, said Rabbit a black stick has. I've been flying to Snorping Man, see I make a plain piano. He played a song which you bend your knees and shake your bottoms, said Rainbow Dash. What was it? The bottom bogger, said Spike, from the holy donors. I was with you, said Fluttish, and he played a song called, um, Alicat. 
But there was an engine that knew better, said Twilight. What happened? asked Percy. Twilight paused. This engine was made in secret, just like Bradford Brown Saddle Tank Engine, Percy. He gave himself a name. He called himself Andy, and he was doing work before coming to live in Tasmania. His work he did was taking rubbish to the Tibby does every day. Um, well, went on Twilight, Andy got tired of doing this work. He wanted to pull coaches. He tried many attempts to escape his first home, but the manager stopped him every time when he tried to go through the gate. Bonkers, he thought. I want to go to Tasmania where I can pull coaches, not live in this place where I do one work every day. One day, Adler had a chance to make a good attempt to escape. He was to go on a weak spot where the engine, where the trucks only go. He secretly went on it and stopped. He waited to fall to tell the truth. He was a magic engine and he moved by himself to go on it. A former man up. What are you doing up there, engine? He said, it's not safe. My brakes weren't working, lied Ernie. Well, I'll have to get another engine to pull you off. As he left to get help, Ernie felt the line quiver. A rush of stones fell. Ernie knew his plan was to have an accident and then magic himself out of his first home so he could get to Tasmania. Okay, it's better work my attempt, he told himself. The rails gave way and he fell off cab over wheels to the bottom. Ow! Okay, time to make my move. With a puff he made fog smoke and vanished before the foreman came back with another engine to get him off the line. Hours passed. On the day and of the day and night trip with no rest, Andrew at last came to Tasmania <coughs> and found a shed to get himself mended. What happened to him after he was mended? asked Percy. Well, he was better and waited for the fat controller to support him. He said he can live in Tasmania and he now works on a branch line somewhere in the mountain jungles where he does work and take people with their shopping. Person twilight ferns had to agree.